Are you serious with your paragliding career? Then at some point, whether you're a beginner or a complete expert, you'll have to make a choice. What kind of shoes am I gonna wear? And the choice basically comes down to wearing the high shoes, the real paragliding boots, as shown in this picture, or wearing the lower ones, like these. After watching this episode, you'll have a great foundation to make that decision. Let's go! Welcome to Flight Coach. My name is Bas van Duin and it is my mission to help you get more out of your life and your flying career by having less stress and more skills. And part of having skills is obtaining knowledge. And that's what I'm going to help you with in this episode, the knowledge to choose the right shoe which fits your situation. Now a question that I've heard hundreds of times is why is my instructor recommending me to wear the real paragliding boots? while all the instructors are wearing the lower trial shoes. And what I've noticed a lot as well, is when people are buying shoes, is that they say, I want that one. And when I ask them, why would you like that shoe? They don't really know. In this episode, I will also show you my shoes. I want you to know that this is not an episode that has been paid for or sponsored, but I may place an affiliate link in the description down below. So if you should decide to buy one of the shoes via that link, I get a small commission and you have no extra charge. So that's a win-win situation, helping me develop the channel further. So now we got that disclaimer out of the way, the topics we're going to discuss in today's episode. We'll start with the function of shoes. Then we'll talk about the pros and cons of both high shoes and the low shoes. And we conclude with some pointers to help you choose between either one of them. Now a quick note, why am I talking about high shoes and low shoes like there is no intermediate? Because of course there are intermediates. I have seen people fly on flip-flops. These are two opposite sides of the scale. And all the shoes you can find on the market that you can wear for flying, even if they're not intended for paragliding at all, will have a lot of similarities to either one of these two types. So by talking about both of these types and their differences, you will have all the information you need to make an informed decision. So let's go into a bit more detail about what the functions of shoes are. When we take a look at a shoe... Oh wait, this is the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, when we take a look at shoes, there are a few functions that they provide for you. They provide comfort, so it's easier for you to walk on certain surfaces. They provide grip, so you don't slip. They keep you warm. They provide protection from bumping into stuff. Remember hitting your toe on that little rock? And they provide protection from impact for when you make a hard landing. Some people call that a crash, by the way. And of course, aesthetics, how do they look, is also one of the functions of the shoe. So let's first go over the pros and cons of the higher shoes. I don't have one here around and during these difficult times it was not possible for me to obtain one in time for this video. So I'm going to show you a picture of it while we talk about it. Let's start off by looking at this typical paragliding boot. You can see it has great support all the way at the back of the feet. It supports the ankle and some shoes even have like a plastic rod or plastic like cage construction at the back to almost immobilize the ankle from moving sideways. This provides great protection against spraining your ankle. They also have thick soles, provide great dampening and the entire cover also on the top side of the feet is really rigid. So first let's go into the cons of the high shoe. So for starters they're really heavy. They can be upwards of one kilogram per shoe, making it hard to transport them. They're quite bulky and they put extra stress on your legs while you're wearing them because they are heavy. And the next con is just a matter of personal opinion, but they are so ugly. They almost make me need to vomit. One moment. You should never buy shoes for paragliding based on what they look like, okay? And the last one, I might be on a bit of slippery train here. People say that when wearing these high shoes and you have a real high energy impact, because they protect your ankles that well, they transfer the force to your lower leg. When, when you have a high energy impact, that could result in you breaking your lower leg instead of hurting your ankle. Well, if you would have worn the lower shoes, you might have sprained your ankle, but not broken your leg. Then the pros of the high shoes. The last con is also a pro. High shoes transfer energy 
to the lower leg. Which means that if you make a misstep or if you would have else sprained your ankle, the shoe reduces the strain on your ankle or can prevent the spraining completely. They provide great protection and they provide better dampening in general than the lower shoes. Now let's take a closer look at the shoes I personally use, the lower shoes. As you can see they provide no protection whatsoever for the ankle. The ankle starts around here. So if you move your feet sideways you can sprain it really easily. I've actually had it once that my ankle was standing like this. So that's the main downside I can find in these shoes. They provide no protection from spraining your ankle whatsoever and they also provide a little bit less dampening and less protection on the top side here because they're just lighter, they're softer. There are also a lot of pros. Take a look at the profile at the bottom. As you can see, well, it's mine is worn out a little bit because I've been wearing these for over a year already, but they have huge profile. They provide a lot of grip. As you can see, these are typical trial running shoes, by the way. They have grip on this side, but they also have what we call counter grip. So they have grip on the other side, and that's made for when you're walking down. And when are you at a downward facing slope? when you're on the takeoff. So you can stand on a quite a steep slope without slipping because these are actually made to hold you back. Nice feature. They provide more grip over the entire surface. See? The grip is also at the nose. They provide more feel with the surface you're walking on. And, but that's also my personal opinion, I think these look a lot better. Good to see you're still here. If you like the content that I'm providing, please press that like button. That way you're letting the YouTube algorithm know that you're interested in this and YouTube will present my videos to other potential viewers. And that way you are helping me help other people fly with less stress and more skills. And of course, if you appreciate my content and would like your weekly dose to chew on, please consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon so you get notified when my next episode goes live. Let's continue the show. So now that we have discussed the high shoes and the low shoes, let's go into a bit more detail and first I want to provide you with an ultra short and very generalistic summary. So please take this with a grain of salt. I believe that beginning pilots have a higher chance to hurt their ankles because during their takeoffs and during their landings a lot of times unexpected things happen. I have no idea how that could be. While considering the pro paraglider who has flown for hours after a long cross country flight has a high chance of landing in a rugged terrain, maybe even on a slope, and they have a lot of benefit by being as nimble, as agile as possible. And for some pros, the added argument of going for the lower shoes instead of the high ones is the perceived risk, perceived increased risk of breaking your lower leg when landing in really challenging conditions on really difficult terrain. Now I know this is not a medically proven point, but from a Newtonian perspective, to me it sounds quite logical that if you fixate the ankle and you exert a lot of force on it, it will just transfer the forces to the next weakest point, which is usually that small uh, bone at the lower part of your leg. And when that snaps, you're in trouble. That was a lot of information. Now some questions to help you in your decision. Should you go with high shoes or should you go with low shoes? I'm going to make some general pointers that can hopefully help you make that decision. So when you often land somewhere unknown and unplanned, your focus is flying long and far. Your takeoffs and landings are really, really smooth. And I'm talking about 99 of 100 going really well. And you want more feel with the ground, then I recommend you go with these. On the other hand, if your focus is learning to fly better and you're making noticeable improvements in your takeoffs and landings almost every flight and you mainly land on the designated landing field, you know, the beautiful grassy plain with the windsock in the corner and the bar close by, or you sprain your ankles quite easily. In these cases, I recommend you go with the real paragliding boot. Now, as with all things in life, it is quite possible that you are somewhere in between. In that case, the first recommendation I can give you is talk to your instructor or talk to a instructor. You can talk to other pilots and be sure to leave a comment down below so we continue the conversation there. So now you have a good foundation to help you make that decision. What kind of shoes you want to use for paragliding 
Or at least you know some great questions to ask yourself or the person selling you these shoes. Next week's episode will be about the takeoff mindset. Why do some people take off like a dancing butterfly while others go down the hill like a wet noodle? What is this magic mojo? Want to know? Stay tuned! See you next time, see you in the air!